Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 10 from the October, November 2022 paper one, Cambridge 9709. This is paper one, variant one. Um, this is from the A-level course. And this question number 10A is to do with integration and the area of the region between these two curves. So we got to find, it says we've got these two curves, y equals 2x to the power of a half plus 1, which is the one on top, and underneath you have a half x squared minus x plus 1. We're told they intersect at 0, 1, and 4, 5. As shown in the diagram, find the area of the region between these two curves. So if I want to find this area between them, then what I have to do is I have to, um, you know, we know that the area between the curve and the x-axis is when you integrate the expression between the limits here, between where they intersect, between 0 and 1 and 4, 5, so when x is 0 and x is 4, if we, if we basically um, find, if we integrate what's under the top curve between 0 and 1, between the limits, sorry, 0 and 4, and we integrate the bottom curve between the limits between 0 and 4, that will give us the area under this curve and the area under that, that curve. And we can subtract the two areas and we find the area that's required, which is this area between them. However, what is normally easier is to actually take the, so we could do, integrate the equation of line 1 between the limits that we need, minus the integral of the curve 2 between those limits. Okay, if you subtract them, that will give you your required area. Okay, alternatively, what we could do is we could actually subtract the two equations and better to have the equation on top, um, the, the one that's higher up first, and integrate, you know, when you've subtracted those two equations, integrate that with respect to x between the same limits, the two limits that we want, and that will give us the same answer as this. So some people prefer to do this, some prefer to do that. Both are fine. I'm going to do the second way. I'm going to subtract the two equations from each other, keeping the one on top higher so that our answer comes out as positive. If you didn't keep it, the one on top higher at first, if you didn't keep the one on top first when you subtracted them, your answer will be negative, but you just write your answer finally as an, a positive value because area has a magnitude. Okay, um, it's, it's like not a direction. So basically we just consider that, that area there. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to take the integrate between the limits of 0 and 4, um, we're going to do these two subtracted. So you have 2 to power, two x to the power of a half minus, there's no other 2x to the power of a half, and you're going to have um, 1 minus 1, that's going to become 0. So if you just write it out here, 2x, 2x to the power of a half plus 1 minus, you're going to have a half x squared minus x plus 1. So 2x to the power of a half minus, there's no like term here, so you just write that. 1 minus 1 is 0, so they cancel out. Then you have minus x to the power of a half, minus a half x, sorry, minus a half x squared, and then plus x. That has to be integrated with between those limits, and that is going to give us the area that we're look, looking for. Okay, so... Um, everything is ready to be integrated. There's nothing I have to change. Everything's in index form, all the powers on the top. Everything's right for us to integrate, so I can just go ahead and integrate. So I'm going to have, have to add 1 to the power, so it becomes 2x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, divided by the new power, minus a half x squared over, a half x cubed, sorry, over 3. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, plus x squared over 2, and then our limits of 0 and 4 must go in. So when you are dividing something by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. So that's going to give me 4 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2, minus 1 over 6, x to the power of 3, plus a half x squared, limits 4 and 0. So let's put the values of 4 and 0 in there. So you're going to have 4 over 3 times, and this is going to be a 4 in here. And this means basically the square root of this cubed. The square root of this cubed, that's what the index means. Minus 1 over 6, 4 cubed, plus 
1 over 2, 4 squared, and you're going to have minus 0, because you put 0 in here, everything becomes 0. So the square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8. So 8 times 4 is 32, so 32 over 3 minus a 6 times 64, so 64 over 6 plus, and this is going to be 16 over 2, which is 8. Okay, so this gives you 32 over 3 divided by 2. So 32 over 3 minus 32 over 3, which is 0, plus 8. So you're left with 8. So this is your answer, 8 square units. Okay, so that's the area of this region. Now, part two, part B of this question is more to do with differentiation. So as I'm trying to save my questions according to topic as well as question paper, I'm going to save the second question, part B of this question, sorry, under the playlist of this paper, as well as a playlist dealing with differentiation, so that it splits up the, splits up the topics between them. Okay, so other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will be appearing over here. Other questions from the topic of integration in the playlist over here. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel. by. In fact, other questions dealing with integration from the P1 and P2 uh, of, came, of LXL, I'll put in these two playlists over here. Okay, so you can see examples of lots of other questions I've done from P1 and P2 of LXL, similar type of questions. Um, and um, yeah, so that's basically it. And I'll put a card up here which will link you to the next part of the question. You'll see that as this video progresses. Thank you for watching and see you soon.